the Titan AI in Age Mythology is by far the hardest bot, as it effectively cheats. After playing the game for some time, the majority of players will be able to deal with the easy, medium and hard bots, but often struggle with the Titan AI, as they gather resources 100% quicker, and build units, research and buildings in half the time, which can make the AI hard to handle if allowed to sit back and make the most of this free bonus. If you've had issues with the Titan AI before, I'll explain why this might be the case, and how you can look to go toe to toe with it, or even straight up exploit its mechanics. The first thing to look at is what does the Titan AI actually do? Let's first look at their strengths. Their classical age. The Titan AI gets to classical age extremely quickly, around 3 minutes, which is way quicker than you can unless going for a crazy suboptimal build. Make sure to not be close to their base at this time. If you end up building your forward temple too close to them, or gathering from a forward hump match, then you might come in contact with their free myth unit, or early human units, and they can pump them out much quicker than you can. Knowing when they first attack. The AI normally attacks around 6-7 to seven minutes into the game. By this time, unless you're going for an early rush on them, you need to be walled up and get any open villagers that are hunting back into the base, and consider getting some units or towers to defend. Going heroic. They normally hit the heroic age around 10 minutes, and that means they'll have access to stronger myth units and upgrades. This is important to know to not get left too far behind. Upgrades. The Titan AI gets upgrades as soon as possible. This means that in the classical age they'll be hitting you with medium units, and in the heroic age they'll be bringing their heavy units to your base. Even getting all the armory upgrades, meaning their army will usually be stronger than your own. Villagers. As their villagers gather 100% more resources than your own, they end up building less villagers than the hard AI, which means they have more population space in their army, so they're going to hit you with a bigger army than you can muster. Although it sounds like the Titan AI has a hell of a lot of strengths, it also has some glaring weaknesses. They'll take their time to destroy buildings outside of your base. If you build any buildings outside of your base, or even a forward base, the AI will spend all their time trying to destroy these, even with suboptimal units like archers. You can really abuse this by making them attack things like wall pieces or rogue walls where it will take them ages to destroy them. They don't care about attacking under tower fire or town centres. You can really use this to your advantage. If you wall up your base and have some towers, Migdal strongholds, hill forts, or any building that shoots arrows and fight underneath it, you'll be at the advantage, and you can really take out their stronger units or larger army. Chasing around. I've noticed while playing against the AI, if you go in for an early raid with your first myth unit, if it's a fast myth unit like a sphinx, you can sometimes get a villager kill, and then run away and their whole army will end up chasing you. This can really buy some time for you to get your own army out. They don't prioritise strong units like Son of Osiris. If you're an Egyptian player like me, then you'll know how strong Son of Osiris is. And when you're playing online, your opponent will always try and kill your Son of Osiris with their long range archers or try and surround it with some cavalry. The AI does no such thing. If you sit your Son of Osiris back, as long as it's not the first unit that your opponent can see, they won't target it with such priority, so you can get the full benefit of it. Micro. The AI are quite slow to micro their units in comparison to players online, so if you have a low HP unit, they'll want to target it, but if you pull back this unit, they'll still chase it for a few seconds before they retarget onto another unit. Using this in fights can be massive, and you can take down their more powerful units with your own. It's also really great practice for micro, because you don't have the annoying lag that you sometimes have online. Choosing your map. The map you play on can really change how hard it is to beat the AI. Playing on an open map, like Blue Lagoon, will be much more difficult, as it's harder to wall off your base, and most of the hunt is in the middle of the map, so it's much easier for them to raid you if it's not well defended. Whereas if you choose a more closed map, where there's natural trees and rocks, it will really aid your defences, as you need much less walls and you can have towers to set up for when they come and attack you. I suggest playing on a defensive map like Alfine would be very good for this, as it has a lot of these characteristics. I also personally like the map Marsh, because you start with two hunt packs in your starting base normally, and it still has a lot of trees you can wall up on. 
if you want to go for the ultimate cheese, you can also download a map like Jotunheim One Hole, where you can just wall up the middle of the map with loads of towers and basically play a game of Bloons Tower Defense before you get to the late stages of the game where you can take out your opponent. Classical Age Timings It's important to get to the Classical Age at a reasonable time. As stated earlier, the Titan AI likes to advance very quickly and you want to get your defenses in place before they come and attack you. I would suggest advancing to the Classical Age between 4 minutes to 5 minutes and 30 seconds. Make sure you're building villagers constantly until you hit the maximum villagers. I would also suggest following a rough build order for your chosen god if you can't normally get to the Classical Age before 5 minutes 30. Choosing a strategy. While advancing to the Classical Age, it's good to have an idea of what your strategy will be. The three main strategies are a defensive boom with raids, a timing attack, or a rush. All of these are a solid option against the Titan AI. I would say that a rush or a timing attack is normally more effective. If you go for the defensive boom with raids, it will rely a lot on your micro and the ability to defend with buildings and towers. First of all, a rush. What is a rush and how do we execute it? A rush is normally advancing very early, around 4 minutes to 4 minutes 30 seconds, and building a forward base to attack your opponent. Normally having your temple closer to the action so you can supply myth units much quicker. For this example I did a Heimdall rush where I sent my Ulfsark forward to build a temple and then building another temple while advancing to the Classical Age, meaning that I could build out Hersa and the eventual Einhiars to take out the opponent. I used the strategy of out microing my Titan opponent and relying on the free myth units that Loki gets. While doing a Loki Heimdall rush, you end up with quite a few myth units, which means that your army is almost as strong as theirs, if not stronger, depending on the amount of myth units you get. When doing a rush, you need to make sure that you're always building houses and don't get capped, and still adding extra buildings so you can get as many units as, as possible. Trying to go for the villages is the best way to do this, but in this instance I just went straight for the army as I knew I'd eventually be able to beat it, even though their units can build so quick. Timing attack. A timing attack is usually a strategy where you stay back until a particular time when you send all your forces on one location. One way that I've done this here is I've done a set scarab rush with shifting sands. Normally the AI sends pretty much all their units to attack you. So if you wall up your base and have towers around, then you can send all your units into their base and they can't defend it, while they're just busy attacking your walls and towers. I did this by shifting sandsing my siege units onto their town center. They won't use their villagers to attack your siege towers as a normal opponent online would do. And you send over a couple of villagers to build and some units to attack their villagers. This timing attack is also way later than one you can do online, but I was attacked so many times before that I just did it later and it still worked out well. You can also do this with Underworld or a Kronos time shift, or even a Vortex. You can also do it by walking into the base, but just know that it will be a bit slower and you might get attacked on the way. A defensive boom with raids. Even attacks that aren't a rush or a timing attack do work against the Titan AI, but it might be a bit more difficult. My favourite strategy is an Isis Priest Siege, so this is what I went for. How I did this is I sent my first Sphinx after the Classical Age to try and kill one of the villagers. While doing this, I also walled up my base for the impending attack between the 6 and 7 minute mark. Then while advancing to the Heroic Age, I set up my strategy of getting two temples, the Spirit of Mart upgrade, and built my priests and siege weapons. While my opponent was about to attack me, I waited for this moment to then drop my Ancestor's Eclipse, as I knew that most of his units would be in my base, so there wasn't much to defend the Ancestor's Eclipse on the villages. From there, it was just a slow push of trying to beat his army each time. I did this by utilising the micro of garrisoning priests inside the siege towers when his archers would hit, and it was an eventual slow push until I could get my son of Osiris, build a forward base, and then just slowly push for the win. Giving yourself a handicap bonus. 
If you've tried all of the above steps and know exactly what the Titan AI is going to do and you're still falling slightly short, then you can try giving yourself a handicap bonus. Rather than clicking single player and doing a match like that, if you host a LAN game, even for just yourself, you can give yourself a free handicap, meaning you can type in the handicap that you want. The Titan AI has a handicap of 100%. They have double the resources and build things in half the time. You can start off with the same bonus as the Titan AI and see if you can beat it that way. And then slowly lower your handicap to 75%. 50%, 25% until you can beat it that way and then go for a raw 0% against their 100% bonus. I think of this as doing assisted pull-ups before doing pull-ups or, or playing a song slower before you can do it the actual pace. The same will work for Age of Mythology. Hopefully this gave you more of an insight into how the Titan AI works and how you can exploit it. Or even just the last tip of giving yourself a handicap bonus. I think that one will really help. If you want to see me cover anything else, then feel free to leave a comment. And good luck!